Oh. 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 Look how magical it looks. Get that crap out of here. Christmas is over now. And you know what that means, boys? We are closer to Apex Legends mobile release it. Nah, but for real, I hope you guys have had an amazing Christmas. I've had a really good one as well. And there's been some new news regarding the next phase of Apex Legends mobile. Are you boys ready? Before we get into it, Check out this sponsor from Buff Gaming, it's lit. So to start, Buff is an authorized app of Overwolf, so you know it's legit, and it's an amazing loyalty program that rewards gamers simply for playing games. Buff lets you rack up points while playing your favorite games, such as PUBG, Valorant, League of Legends, and many more. The app runs in the background when you're playing, and there's even cool fun challenges to rack up even more points. All of this is free to do, and you don't have to pay for anything. With those points, you can go to the marketplace and buy yourself multiple cool things, such as gift cards, in-game skins, merchandise, and even cool gaming equipment. It takes absolutely nothing away from the gaming performance, and I use it every single day to get free stuff. If you guys want to check it out and get some cool free stuff from Buff Gaming 2, go in the link in the description and click on it and download it now. Trust me, it is amazing. Okay, boys and girls, welcome back to another Apex Legends mobile video, and if you have been on Twitter recently, you would probably notice some leaks that have been going around, okay, regarding Apex Mobile. Now, I'm not allowed to mention any of these leaks whatsoever, I'm an EA creator now, so I'm not allowed to mention anything or show proof of anything, but I am allowed to talk about sort of future predictions and future things that's probably going to come to the game in the next phase of Apex Legends Mobile. Now, let me break it down for you guys, okay? This mobile game has had the most betas of any other mobile game known to man, okay? We've had four closed betas and two private- Hey yo, what the fuck? It ch private Chinese betas, okay? That's so many betas for a game, which means the game must be ready, okay? Now, everyone thought the next phase of Apex Legends Mobile, we're gonna get an open beta, which means that, you know, it's gonna be opened in a few more regions to test some servers, and we're gonna be able to play the game, but our stats still won't save. Now, now, now. The next phase of Apex Legends Mobile is definitely going to be a soft launch, okay? The game's ready. We've all seen sort of leaks and clips and stuff of the game. We've seen the game through all of the betas and the game looks fully ready. Now check this out right here. I'm gonna break it down for you guys and show you exactly what I think is gonna come next, right? So we are in December right now. We're coming up to New Year's. It's gonna be a brand new year. 2022 is gonna be huge for mobile gaming. So I've created a little timeline for you guys just to put it into perspective. Okay, so we have January, February, we are going to most likely get the trailer plus socials. Now, remember guys, this is just predictions, okay? But based on all the leaks and everything that's been going around at the moment, this is looking to be true, okay? January, February, we're going to get a trailer and probably socials, which means, you know, a YouTube official channel, an official Twitter, an official Instagram, maybe some EA managers that are going to update us with more about the game to give us more perspective on, you know, future timeline and stuff that's going to be coming out. Uh, next is February 1st, which is the next EA press conference. You already know I've tuned into every single EA press conference over the last 18 months. And uh, yeah, they usually drop some sort of news or something regarding Apex Legends Mobile. And if you think about it, EA are going to their into their fiscal year in April, okay? Now they're probably saving this game ready for after April because you know, companies they have uh certain you know criteria to hit they've got certain money to be made so it would make sense for them to bring Apex Legends mobile out which is going to bring a ton of money into EA's pockets and respawns pockets and they're most likely going to smash targets ready for their next fiscal year which starts in April okay so have a little think there okay now next we've got February March this is when I think the soft launch will start. I think the global launch is going to come out around May or June. And I say that because the game is ready, but it still needs a soft launch, okay? And to mention what a soft launch is, guys, it's basically a launch of the game in a lot of regions, the full release of the game, which means you can create your account, you can log in with your Facebook ID, guest login if you want to, or you can log in with UID, anything you like, and you'll be able to keep that account ready for when global launches. Now, typically soft launches come out around two to six months prior to a global release of the game. We had it in COD Mobile, okay, back in 2018. Call of Duty Mobile came out around October, October, and we had the soft launch around April, okay? So that's a long time before the actual global launch of the game. So if it's correct and we're going to get a global launch around mid-year 2022, then 
anywhere from now until March, we're going to get a soft launch, okay? That means we're going to be able to create our accounts. We're going to be able to play the game. All of these pros are going to be up and coming. We're going to get all of these content creators, including myself, get some hella views and just, you know, blow up. And it's going to be amazing to actually be able to play a mobile game i i personally i've had an ipad sitting on my cupboard right over there for around about a year now just waiting for this game to come out i've been creating content on it for 18 months so even just getting a soft launch means i can create an account and i can keep that account ready for global launch and that also means guys as well if we look back at Call of Duty Mobile, if you are some ranked grinders, which I myself am as well, then we are going to be able to grind the leaderboards in soft launch, which would probably tie over to the global launch as well. So if you want to get a head start, download the soft launch. So I think that's what's coming next. That's my timeline. Again, just predictions based on some stuff I've seen, but... Take it for a pinch of salt, guys, because EA, you know, they 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 usually delay some sort of things that come out. We've we've had some delays in closed betas before, which has been unfortunate. But when we have got them, you got to admit the, the betas have been absolutely incredible. And if we're getting a soft launch next, then expect it to be one hell of a soft launch. Okay, guys. So that's the end of this video. Again, I just wanted to update you with some sort of new news that's going to be coming out. I really think we're going to get a soft launch next. It's going to be anywhere from now until March. Again, predictions, but. Let me know what you guys think, okay? So that's the end of this video. I've been absolutely ripping the PC version of Apex at the moment. I've got some nasty clips. So I'm going to show you a tiny little montage now of the PC version. Because I'm basically going to be doing this in a mobile version as well with the wingman. So uh, watch me get some Liddy shots. And uh, that's it, guys. If I don't see you again before New Year's, have an amazing one. 2020 to 2020? 2022 is going to be my freaking year of content. And I'm glad to have you all on this journey with me. So go follow me on the socials. Keep up to date and get ready because next it's most likely going to be a soft launch. So thank you guys for watching. Check this montage out and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. Graças à Isto é para vosotros. Soundstripe is a royalty-free music library made specifically for YouTubers and streamers. You can get it now for just $19 a month and you can choose from Soundstripe's library of thousands of tracks and playlists produced by their Grammy award-winning team of musicians and producers. The licensing for the music is safe on any social media platform including YouTube and Trovo. There's a total of three plans to choose from which include sound effects and video effects which I use on my own YouTube videos. And the best part is right now guys, if you use code ROSEMITH at checkout, you can get a 15% discount coupon and currently there's already a 40% holiday site-wide promotion so what are you waiting for go check it out links in the description